The coils on your refrigerator are critical to the cooling process and they need to be kept clean. Now today we're going to demonstrate how that's done. Before you get started cleaning the coils on your refrigerator, it's critical that you unplug the refrigerator or turn off the power at the fuse box. Warning, tip over hazard. Your refrigerator is top heavy and tips easily when not completely installed. Keep doors taped closed until refrigerator is completely installed. Use two or more people to move and install the refrigerator. Failure to do so can result in death or serious injury. After you pull the refrigerator away from the wall, we're going to start on the back panel first. Just use your nut driver or screwdriver depending on what is holding the back panel on and remove it. With the panel removed, we'll be able to remove any debris in and around the fan. Also, the back panel is vented here. There's a lot of dirt that's accumulated here because it's drawing air in from the back. So you're gonna to wanna to clean that all out with your vacuum cleaner and uh, then put everything all back together again. Pretty simple. All right, we vacuumed out the area surrounding the condenser fan and also the vent area here. So the next logical thing to do is to put the back panel on. Well, we've got all the screws back on the back panel. Now there's one more thing that you might want to do as long as the refrigerator is away from the back wall, clean the area behind the refrigerator. All right, now that we have the refrigerator all cleaned out in the back, now we gotta clean out the front of the refrigerator coils. Now, in this particular model, the refrigerator coils are underneath the refrigerator, so there's a little kick plate here. I'm just gonna pull it out. It just attaches like that. And we are going to use our flashlight to take a look and see where there are any big chunks of debris and I don't see anything really too bad under here. So that's good. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the long attachment here on the vacuum cleaner and very gently go back and forth along the, uh, the bottom here to make sure that we are getting as much of the large debris as possible. Now, don't force this underneath your refrigerator. You do not want to damage the coil. So just very gently go back and forth and vacuum away. All right, we vacuumed out around the condenser coils and now we're going to use the condenser coil brush and get in between the nooks and crannies. And we're gonna do that, of course, using our flashlight and we can see where we're going. Okay, we're gonna put the kick plate back on and it just snaps into place. There we go. If your plug is exposed, now is a good time to plug it in. Warning, electrical shock hazard. Plug into a grounded three prong outlet. Do not remove ground prong. Do not use an adapter. Do not use an extension cord. Failure to follow these instructions can result in death, fire, or electrical shock. You should clean your refrigerator coils every two to three months if you have a greasy cooking environment or if you have a lot of pet traffic. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks.